What's up guys? What's good everybody? It's Jelly with Squid Industries and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to do a behind the eight ball and a helix. These tricks may look a little complicated at first, but you just gotta break them down to these simpler movements and you'll get it in no time. The only prerequisite tricks you need to learn are the basic opening and the thumb rollover and wrist pass. And you're ready to learn both of these tricks. So let's get to the breakdown of the behind the eight ball. So to do the behind the eight ball, you wanna start by holding the safe handle and flicking out the bite handle and the blade horizontally like this. And then your thumb and your index finger are gonna get out of the way when you do that. And then you're gonna put your index finger on the inside of the safe handle here. So you got your index finger here now and your other fingers are gripping onto the safe handle like this. So you're then going to throw the blade and bite handle over your index finger. You're essentially gonna do one zero G index chaplain and you're gonna curl your index finger slightly and let go of the safe handle with your other fingers. And as it's rotating around, as you let go and it's rotating, you're going to make a ring with your thumb and your index finger here. So you make that ring and as it rotates, it's going to fall and land on your thumb like this. And once it's in this position, you can do a thumb chaplain, just one thumb chaplain, and then catch the safe handle between your thumb and this part of your palm here. You don't wanna be in the webbing or at the tip of your thumb. You just wanna be in the middle there gripping it with the sides of your fingers. And then you're going to turn your wrist over like this. Once you do that, you'll notice that the belly rotates and instead of the front face of the handle touching the side of your thumb, the side of the handle is gonna to touch your thumb like, like this. And then you can do one thumb rollover and then the wrist pass and end off the trick. So if you already learned the thumb rollover, this part should be easy. Just throw it get into that wrist pass and you've done the behind the eight ball. If you break it down into those movements, then you'll probably get this trick down a little bit easier. And then you can do it smoothly and in one fluid motion like that. It's gonna be a bit tough, so just practice all of those movements separately and then try your best to connect them together. To do a helix, you're doing a very similar motion to the behind the eight ball. The only difference is that instead of doing a zero G index chaplain into a single thumb chaplain and then to a roll, you're just going to do a zero G index roll into a thumb roll and then finish off the trick. It's a little bit simpler actually, but it is harder to execute because doing a roll is a little bit harder than a chaplain since a chaplain will hug your finger better and a roll has a tendency to slip off more easily. It's a little bit more hard to control the balance. So to get into it, you're going to flick out and then flick out one more time getting your index finger out of the way, same positioning, but this time you're going to put your index finger on the outside of the safe handle here. And you're going to do a roll around and make that ring. So it's going to roll around, you've made that ring and you're going to transition immediately into a thumb rollover into that wrist pass and catch it. So that transition from your index to your thumb is gonna be a bit tough, but as long as you make that ring, you can even break it down to those movements like that when you're practicing and then combine them once you think you've got it down and you can get it smooth. You can combine the eight ball and the helix very easily. So if you do an eight ball like this, you end on the bite handle and you can do a helix from the bite handle. So just do that helix and then you catch the safe handle and you can do a chaplain from there, get into a twirl or just end off the combo like that. So really easy once you learn both of these tricks to just connect them together. Really fun little combo you can learn.
and I'll show you a few different uses of the behind the eight ball and the helix in different combos so you can see how diverse this trick is and what kind of combos you can throw them into. These aren't all the combinations you can do, so play around with these tricks and find out how to throw them in your own combos. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. If you're ready to learn some more tricks, then check out our tutorials playlist, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we release more of these videos. Also, visit the Squid Industries website to pick up a battle song trainer and start flipping today. And if you don't already, then visit our other social media platforms like our Instagram and our Twitter and all of that links in the description. That's it from me, so I'll leave you all with a quick flipping clip. See you next time. How you do a eight ball and a helix. You first gotta take your valley and hold the safe handle and then flick it out and oh, behind the eight ball. <laughs>